Hi guys, this is Lauri from SalesFrame. Today I wanted to show you really quickly some of the new and awesome features we have coming out in SalesFrame very shortly. I'm going to start off with something I'm super excited about, and that is our new and improved search feature. The search feature, as I'm sure some of you are aware, is available in the library, and it still is. So if we go into the content library here, there's a search button up here at the top. However, what happens these days is if you click it, it'll open up a bar like this. And you can search for uh, with several different criteria. You can use an AND search, which allows you to narrow down your search options. To do that, let's write some AND criteria in here. So let's go, let's use my name and search, and we'll see all the materials in our tool with Lauri in it. If we add another term there, so let's go with my colleague's name, Henry, and press search, We'll only find one slide, and that means we've narrowed down the content so that this slide has to have both Lauri and Henry in it. So that means you can narrow down with and if we clear the search and then use the or search, however, that means we expand our search. So if I use the exact same criteria, Lauri and Henry, but instead of using and, we're using or, and I press search, we're expanding. So we're actually showing all of the content in the tool with either of these words in them. And again, if we clear, we get back to the original content in the library. This search uh, feature is something that should be super powerful when you're looking for content on specific products or content that includes specific information on many different things. So if you know there's a slide out there that has information on several different things you want and you're not sure where it is, this search feature is the one that will help you find it. Moving on, we've also got another really cool feature that has come out, and that is our new send feature. So you might remember our old memo site. Well, it's still there, but it looks a bit different these days. So now when you uh, collect the presentation, so let's say I'm going to take these slides into my presentation and I want to send it to a client. Uh, they're still collected where they should be. And now we've got this send button available here in the presentation menu. If I click that button, it opens up a new view. Uh, this view allows us to do several things. Obviously, we can give our memo site a name. So let's give it the name example memo site. This is the same as it used to be as always. However, now we're also able to add a cover letter. And what that cover letter does is it's actually a part of the memo site. It's something your customer will see before they see the content. And it's a, it's a way for you guys to introduce what they're about to read or give them some summary or recap of your previous sales meeting. So I'm just going to write, hi guys, here's a cover letter for you. Very simple. There's also uh, next steps, which allows you to add uh, next steps based on dates. So you can just communicate to your client what the next thing is that's going to happen in the sales process is going to be. So I'll say, well, we will call on this day here and we'll add it and it will be a part of our nice new memo site. If I press save now, we still create a URL. And if we open this URL, we'll see what the new memo site looks like. And this is a lot better than it used to be, in my opinion. Uh, everything is available on the same page, first of all. So the user doesn't just see one slide uh, with some arrows on the sides. Instead, they can clearly see that the scroll bar indicates there's a lot more content available. Also here on the left, you've got something that indicates that there's a lot of content here. You're immediately looking at the name of your memo site. You've got your company's logo and you've got your tools background here slightly to give a little good look and feel there. You've got your own name there. And uh, once you start scrolling down, all the content is on the same page. So there's a much higher chance that your customer will actually see the materials you sent them and will will read it to the end. We've already noticed internally that our clients are almost spending double the amount of time on the content we send to them, even though the content hasn't changed. And we think it's purely because uh, it's clearer that there's more content to read than just the first couple slides, and it's easier to use, and it's also much more mobile friendly. So we're really, really excited to have these features here, and we hope you are too. If you've got any questions or any feedback, feel free to get back to us, and uh, we'll help you guys get to know these features better. And uh, I hope to see you guys shortly again with more cool stuff. Thank you.